Hello and welcome to the Outdoor Given podcast. So this one's kind of a bit of a serious one and probably one not to be taken lightly. It's um, it's talking about one of those things about health, mental well-being and uh, everything that goes with it. I recorded a very short podcast at Schoon Game Fair with the Gamekeepers Welfare Trust from with Helen and one of the nurses that was there. Some of the points in this are going to be relevant to you and relevant to your friends, relevant to your colleagues, relevant to people that you work with or even family members. There's a big thing this day and age about not talking about problems and men are especially bad at doing this. We've just started the grouse season and it's not going great there's a lot of estates that have cancelled days so imagine that you're a keeper and you've worked all year long to basically make sure that on the glorious 12th you were going to put grouse up and you get your counts done and there's no birds now for some people they're just they take it in their stride and that's great but for For others, that can be a massive amount of pressure, stress and all the rest of it. And especially when maybe your boss doesn't stay on the estate or somebody else isn't there and they're asking questions as to what's going on, why why aren't we shooting? And these pressures do build up on people and sometimes guys and, and even girls, they don't know who to talk to. This is where the Gamekeeper's Welfare Trust comes into its own or even just if you don't want to talk to them, talk to a friend or talk to just pick up the phone and speak to somebody I know it seems incredibly difficult and it's probably one of those things that we're all there and we all have these moments where we think oh I can't see the light at the end of the tunnel there's always a solution and there's always a way forward the key is you as the person may not see the light at the end of the tunnel but what you actually need to do is you need to share that with somebody and that other person sometimes sees it from a different perspective and actually can sometimes listen and by just being there to listen to you can can really help so where do you go from here what i would suggest is if you do have problems you can contact the gamekeepers welfare trust if you're struggling to even do that talk to somebody close and the biggest thing about it is there's always that fear that if you you think there's a problem and you're going to say something suddenly all of a sudden the police are going to rock up at your door take your guns away and your firearms away and you'll be tarred with the brush of mental health again it's very tricky this day and age because at the end of the day the the police forces are they're out to protect you who might be having bad thoughts but they're also out there to protect the general public So what would I do? I would suggest contacting somebody and having a chat. But going forward, there's also other things inside this as well. This was not just all about mental health. We were looking at actual, your body health. Uh, Guys out on the hill, guys working in the field, guys driving diggers, driving tractors, farmers. It doesn't matter who you are. We all push ourselves to the limit. Now, if you're that type of person that literally goes, well, I'm going to keep going, I'll go and buy... I don't know, four cans of Red Bull a day or I drink Monster. Guys, this stuff ain't good for you. It really isn't. It's going to do real bad problems with you. And I think the nurse mentions it uh, later on in the podcast. So again, you've got one body. You need to take care of it. Yeah, you can drink your coffees and all the rest of it. Try and steer clear of those of highly processed stuff. Make time to stop. Get yourself a meal. I know it's not always easy, but it will benefit you in the long run. As I say, you're all youngsters now listening to this. Potentially, there's a few of us that are older and there's a few even older guys listening to these podcasts. And if we could all go back to our younger days, we would probably change quite a lot of what we've done over the over that course of time. But with modern life, everything's fast, fast paced and um, your body won't thank you for it. So uh, go get a health check. Even if you're in your 30s going and having your blood pressure checked or going just to the doctors and getting a um asking them to do like an mot on you it's so worthwhile because in this day and age we're so quick and everything's moving so fast you forget about these things and actually sometimes 
early diagnosis of a problem can save you a lot of issues and health issues in the future. So again, listen to what the nurse has to say in this podcast. If you can get a chance to pop to the doctors, just ask them for a for a routine checkup, a health check, and the difference that that can make to you. I know I have I've my father passed away as a young age, so from from pretty much 18 I spent time going to the doctors and having cholesterol checks done and stuff like that and it it, you do find things and you can change the way that your your life works yeah as a youngster you kind of ignore it and go I'm young and fit and I can cope with this but it's worth knowing it in the background because yeah you you get one chance so uh, make it a good one and make it a long one anyway let's get on and listen to uh, what the podcast was recorded at uh, at Schoon I apologise now for the noise of the generator running in the background. It seems as though they stuck the Gamekeeper's Welfare Trust's tent right next to one of the big power generators. So for the entire day, that that poor group literally had the drone of a generator running. And uh, I tried to get rid of most of it on the podcast, but it is still there in the background. So just before we start the podcast, I'm just going to give you a telephone number, which is Jamie's Helpline. And that's zero three zero zero one two three three zero eight eight. Write that down, stick it on the back of a postcard, write it on the back of a sticker or something like that. Uh, you can either use it or hand it to somebody else. It is available obviously online as well. And welcome to the Outdoor Given podcast. We're still at Schoon, and I thought we'd touch on a topic that no man ever wants to talk about, or woman wants to talk about sometimes, and that's uh, obviously it can be mental health and health issues. So I'm actually sat here today on the Gamekeepers Welfare Trust, and I've got two lovely ladies either side of me who are going to give us a little bit of what you can do and things like that. So we'll start off. If basically, what does the Gamekeepers Welfare Trust do? Okay. Well, I'm Helen from the Gamekeepers Welfare Trust and we just support everybody about anything in the gamekeeping community. Okay. So they may be gamekeepers, stalkers, gillies, allied professions, their families and whether they are students starting out, whether they're in work or whether they're retired and in later life. Fantastic. So oh. every stage of life. It's one of those things, isn't it? There's, we hear stories about it, especially in the rural community, about people. It's almost like you don't have anybody to turn to, and I think that's where we kind of need, this is where I think the trust helps. It's, it's kind of that first port of call, isn't it? Yeah, I think in all the rural community um, support services um, are there for people, and it's always a challenge especially for men yep. to feel that they can call and ask for help because we're all proud we're all stoical we all think we can crack on and get on with it yes yeah um, but at some stage of life every, anyone needs help 100 percent, and i think in this day and age it you don't have to wear it all on your chest and pretend you're the strong person actually just turn into a friend and say look i've got a problem it, it's doable, but I think it's still it's very difficult, especially as you said with men, to to sort of break that barrier down. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons we've got the check in with a mate campaign. Yep. So that is just to encourage people to talk. Yes. Yeah. And we, we we see those stickers. If anybody doesn't know this, you can obviously get a sticker, stick it in the front of your motor on the windscreen, and it is. It's just give somebody a call. That that just that phone call, just yeah. touch and base. With them. Being a keeper, being out on the hill, being a ghillie, it's a, it can be a fair, I think you mentioned it before in, in one of the films we've seen with you, it's, it's a lonely life. Yes, it is. It can be, you know, people like being on their own, they're, they're sort of very self-reliant yes. if they're in that kind of profession. But everybody needs somebody sometime, don't they? Absolutely. And especially in this day and age, I think everybody's ve- they feel very connected through social media but actually you can be incredibly lonely at the same time. Mm. And I think it's probably more, 
how would I say it? Now is the now is the age where you actually do need to be checking in more with people. Mm. We talk about being resilient. Yes. And we've had campaigns in the past and continuing to do so about encouraging people to think about their networks, their family, their friends, the people that they can turn to when they need to, um, whether it's the Gamekeepers Welfare Trust or whether it's another organisation, and just know where they can turn to when they need it. Yep. And how, how, so how does the Gamekeepers Welfare Trust work? Is there, is it a phone? Is, it, uh, a is there some way of contacting people? Yes. It's expanding all the time, okay, as right. social media and, and all these networks have expanded over the years. So we have Jamie's helpline, okay. so you can ring that at any time, anybody can ring it, and it's, it can be just a listening service, so it can be just something that somebody wants to get something off the chest, yep. or it may be information, it may be further support, um, whether that's about anything to do with your job, anything to do with housing because we, we live in tied houses we if do, we're gamekeepers yeah. um, it might be financial problems it might be relationship problems it might be health problems yes. and mental health is one of those um, and it's very often people ring up about something else okay and then uh, you can pick up that there's always an element of of people struggling in one way or another, whether they recognise it or not. Yes, and so how how is it? How's the charity? Is, is it? I'm assuming it is a charity. And how is it funded? Yeah. So yeah, we are a charity. We are funded by those who support us, really. Okay. So we don't have any government support or anything like that. It's just people who are fundraising or. Uh, give us donations kindly and, and that's how it works. So what we really need to say is everybody that's listening to this, it doesn't matter if you're not a keeper, put something towards this. It's, 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 crucially, it's a crucially important charity in the shooting world at the end of the day. I think the biggest thing though is if you are struggling for whatever reason, um, you are not in a place to be thinking about where to get help. No. So you need a neighbour, a friend, or a, or a family member, or a work colleague, to point that out to you and remind them. It's sometimes it's really difficult, though, isn't it? Because I think that's the the biggest thing. Some people can hide it incredibly well. Yeah. And it's really difficult to pick up on there's a problem. Yeah. Having, having lost friends to it, you 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 kind of kick yourself and you say, why didn't he just say something? Yeah. And it, it is. I think it's that checking with a friend. It is. Ask that probing question and see what the response is. I think that's that's kind of a, a critical point. Be honest. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's it's not nothing to be ashamed about. It no. just let somebody know because there might be help around the corner. Everybody has a a period in their lives when they're struggling, one yeah. for one reason or another, yeah. and we're all on this continuum, like a like a, a you know a, a staircase. And sometimes people are at the top, and sometimes people are at the bottom, and yeah, sometimes yeah. the people are in the middle. Absolutely. So we're not we're not going to dwell too much on on the mental health side of things because obviously I think this podcast is following on from we've actually talked to somebody, but I think it's really important we get that out there. But it's not just that. There's other health issues in there as well. So we need to. Again, as men, we don't like going to the doctor. We don't like revealing that there's a problem or things like that but there's there's many things and I think it gets people and, and heart disease is, is something that, that that is critical I've obviously got a, a, a nurse sat next to me who is going to be able to sort of say some of the things you can do or, or have checked that's actually going to potentially it's going to save your life because I think heart disease is known as the silent killer yeah, so what we're doing at the fairs and things in particular are checking your blood pressure, your pulse, your oxygen levels and your blood glucose. Your blood pressure, you can have no symptoms at all, you're completely unaware, but it's too high and yet heart disease blood pressure is called the silent killer for that reason. We've done two, yeah, a couple so far where their blood pressure's been really high, so we've recommended they go to their GP and I know one in particular from about a month ago and he's now got surgery at the end of the month for stents in his heart. Right. So it's something he would have been completely unaware of but inevitably he would have died from that and the consequences of it. 
So just coming in, yeah, getting your blood pressure checked, even that chat then leads to other things that we can give you advice on. We are all registered nurses. Uh, just some advice, what you can do, who can help you with your other problems. And there's lots of leaflets and advice we can give you about how to better your blood pressure, better your health and your diet. If you're out and about all the time, when the you're, yeah, crucial one, yeah, it, when you're just snacking, you're grabbing something quickly. We can recommend what we would, what changes you can make to your diet rather than a quick I'd something say, I'd here say a and lot, there. A lot of keepers probably live on energy drinks, which are yeah. probably one of the yeah. worst things. Oh yeah, but it is. It's that quick. We'll live by the garage. We'll buy something, yeah. buy a chocolate, energy drink, and a sandwich or a pie. Yeah, and of course. Pie, all, all of those, all of those things are just adding to yeah your cholesterol. Your, your, yeah, time exactly in the end. that, and your obviously your job's very physical, so that makes people can often then think that they're okay, like they're unaware that they're there can still be things in the background even if you are that physical it doesn't just balance itself out so you guys are, you guys are kind of offering like a, a one stop it's like a bit of an MOT yeah that's what we're calling it get your MOT it'll take five ten minutes if that and okay. just that reassurance because one getting a GP appointment can be near on impossible especially for something just sort of this routine um, and yeah just that peace of mind that everything's okay and yeah and then we can advise if not and and put, obviously, yeah, then you can recommend that they go off to see their GP, yeah, yeah. the next line, the next port of call. Because obviously sometimes symptoms don't always naturally show up in a blood pressure test or a blood oxygen test. No, yeah, what we're doing obviously isn't a full, a full workup, but it can certainly, it would, there's chances of it would show if anything your blood pressure is too high, your pulse is too high, too low, or your blood sugar, um, if that's raised or low as well for diabetes. They, they say it's, it's men over 40 should really go and basically have like... Go and see the doctor and, and kind of have that blood test. But actually, it's guys down as young as 30. Go go to the doctor. Have just ask for your bloods to be done. It's one of those. Yeah, just a routine check over. That yeah, I think England are much better than Scotland in doing that. They offer that annually. Scotland don't offer as such, but they will do it if you phone and say, "I would like this done. I just want a check over." Reassurance. Again, it's it's one of those things, guys, that you might or girls that you might be listening to this. It, it's it's so critical. I know. I was diagnosed with high blood pressure and I've gone through t almost two years to get to the right point to actually get it under control. So it, I, I can speak from my own personal experience how important it is. Yeah. Um, and, and, and so yeah, back to the obviously uh, Helen from the Gamekeeper Wealth, well, I can't say it, Welfare Trust, uh, is there any other things we should know? Yeah, really? yeah because we've been building on, on all our health services over the last few years. So we have a nurse advice clinic, okay. um, health and wellbeing hub, so you can ring up or you can go online and you can make an appointment and speak to a nurse, right. one of our team, Fantastic. Um, about anything. So it might be a family member, it might be a child rash, it might be a back problem, it might be a diagnosis that you've had and you're feeling bewildered or unsure or, or just you know someone to talk to in between appointments. Um, and the important thing as well is that although our nurses are NHS registered nurses and OTs and, and other professionals, our service is not affiliated to your doctor. Right. So it does not go back on your records. Okay. I think that's what a lot of people are fearing, it's isn't it? It's a huge worry for everyone, yeah. We, we all now have firearms and shotgun certificates and the whole thing is you have a flag on there and if suddenly something gets ticked that could be your job or your livelihood so as I say if you if you are worried this is obviously a, a fantastic way of actually talking to somebody without a GP or a nurse jumping to conclusions and ticking the wrong box at the end of the day. Yeah not only that but it is hard to get an appointment in certain places isn't it? Oh yeah Especially with a GP or yeah, working as a nurse in a GP practice, I know that we are fully booked for very yeah. long periods of time. Right. And, so, yeah. and you can do this at night or weekends, which, you know, if something crops up over a weekend or, or in the evening, it's it's really difficult. And it's um, speaking to people who know the job, know what's exactly. expected of you, what you're doing, 
rather than if you speak to a nurse or GP who is could be against shooting like fish and all these sort of like 100%. it's someone who's with you and what you're doing and knows what yeah. your job is yeah I, I think Scotland we're quite lucky because a lot of the GP surgeries and practices are, are quite they're quite supportive because the field sports is still a big thing but I know there are guys down in England that will be listening to this that they do struggle and there are GP surgeries that won't even do their their firearms application anymore yeah exactly and, and the other thing that we do offer is counseling Okay. So we will fund counselling um, from our own team or people that we trust, which again will not go back to your doctor if you are concerned. And again, it might just be that there's long waiting lists and you need it now. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. I think it's really important that yeah it, it's a great service it's out there so if you can help it do but if you need to use it use it exactly so, yeah i'm not going to keep this as a very long podcast we're going to keep it short and sweet but it is it's right to the point it needs to be if you've got a problem guys don't hide it get out there talk to somebody even if you need to just speak to somebody in confidence this is the place to do it Thank you ever so much. Thank you. And uh, thank you for letting me do this in the busy, middle of the busy show <laughs> while those people are trying to come onto the stand. Thank you. <laughs> no and there's nothing more important than health at the no, end of the day. It. You 100%. can't do your job if you're not healthy. You get, to you? You get one life, so uh, yeah. make sure it's a healthy one. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. So Helen mentions in the podcast, Jamie's helpline. Now, if you do need to call that, the telephone number is 0300-123-3088. And obviously that's a listening service. And uh, yeah, I think it's all very, very confidential, but it's, uh, it's worth having that number. If there is any points raised in that or anything that you're thinking about that you are worried about, uh, be it your health, mental state, anything along those lines, get in touch with the Gamekeepers Welfare Trust. Call a friend, chat to somebody. If you need to go and see the doctor regarding your health, as I said to you, these things are important. You might not think about it you might just push on but eventually something comes and snaps and causes you problems mental health is a big topic and again we're very poor at talking about it so get in contact get talking to somebody and maybe that that you can get get a resolve and a problem solved with no intervention no other issues and that way you will carry on and lead a healthy life so i'll put some links in the description and hopefully you can work with that but as I said to you it's really important we're all in this together we're all working through many things we're all worried about our firearms licenses and everything that goes with it but if you talk to people that can make a huge difference we will be talking more on mental health in a later podcast Uh, we're actually going to chat to somebody who's gone through the ringer with it and come out the other side a much better person but obviously it still has has its issues so uh, stay tuned for that one and uh, yeah thanks very much for listening and we'll catch you on the next one